First of all, I need to apologise for why there was no video for two weeks, but as the story will unveil, you'll realise that I've been on holiday, and I went on a Thursday, and I came back on a Thursday, and Thursday's when I upload my videos, so I just couldn't, because I was probably in an airport somewhere. But I'm back now to tell the story of when I was robbed on holiday. So we arrived at the hotel where we were greeted by our rep, Kirsty, and she was nice enough and she made us feel welcome, but literally five minutes into meeting her, she was trying to sell us everything. And fair enough, she was good at her job, she was good at describing the events to us and making them sound tempting, which made us buy two events. So we bought the full moon party and the freshest white party. But before I continue, just let me show you how she explained them to us. So I take it you know what a full moon party is, like in Thailand, it's a massive party and you all come down to the beach with her and get your face painted, we play loads of games, they just look spectacular, honestly it's the best event, you just don't want to miss it. So yeah, we think it sounds good, we were having visions of like, lanterns and lights on the beach, everybody playing games and like, fire sticks and stuff. Sounds good. So on to the Freshers White Party. So the Freshers Party is where we play all your classic nighty tunes, you'll all be able to sing along. And if you're all going to uni in September then it's the perfect event for you to prepare you for it. And we'll play all the games you'll play in Freshers Week. For you guys it'll be the best thing ever. So then we go to the White Party where you need to be wearing something white and honestly it could just be a sock. But we use all the UV lights so you'll glow and it'll all look amazing. So the price for these events came to 110 euros, 65 for the full moon party and 45 for the freshers slash white party. Oh, and both of these events came with a two hour, two euro bar, which means for two hours, all your drinks cost two euros, which is cheap. So we thought we'd done good by buying two events because we were originally gonna buy nothing, but we thought, no, it's good that we've got two events because it'll break the week up a bit. So the first night wasn't one of the events that we'd booked, so we'd just gone out by ourselves and we came across this man who stopped us called Mateos. Mateos. And he told us that he wasn't trying to get us to come into his bar, that wasn't his aim, he just wanted to warn us about something. He asked if we were Club 18 to 30, which we were, and he said that he gets loads of people from there coming to say to him that they've been raped by the reps. Um, excuse me? Raped of their money, just to clarify. He said that they sell you all these events when you can get them for way cheaper on the streets. And he seemed quite trustworthy, he said that he'd been there 25 years and that all his family work on the island. He called himself the Mafia, which we weren't too sure about. But he also said that his cousin owned a restaurant and if we went there we could get a free bottle of wine. And he also said he could get us into a club called Downtown for free. So we were like, brilliant. The next night we were doing our own thing again, we'd been to a few bars. We tried Shisha, which you would know if you follow me on Instagram which you should be doing, go and do it now. And then we decided we wanted to go to downtown, so we remembered that Mateo said he could get us in for free, so why not try it? So we went and found Mateo, sat outside his bar, and said, Mateo, we want to go to downtown. You said you could get us in for free, can you still do it? Of course, just say Mateo sent you, and if they say no, ask for Stomatis, the manager. Wonderful news. So we get to the front door of downtown, where we were greeted with, Five euro. But Mateo said we could get him for free. Five euro. He said we need to ask for... Uh... From the two minute walk from Mateos to downtown, we'd forgotten the name of the manager. Stavros, um... What was it? Stimatos? Stimatos? It begins with an S. Are you crazy? So we didn't get in. We could have paid to get in, but instead we decided to go and have more fun by showing Mateos a piece of our mind. Well? We didn't get in. Oh shit. We said that you'd sent us. We asked for the manager. Well, we tried to. Well, I'll be going down there in an hour, so you come to my bar and then I take you there in an hour. Hmm. You can have one shot for one euro. So we accepted his offer. That's what he thinks. We walked away from him as if we were going to go into his bar, but walked straight past it and went somewhere else. Ha! <laughs> Onto the part of the story that relates to the title. I'm using the word robbed in the British meaning that you were ripped off. Your money was taken from you wrongly. It was the night of the full moon party and part of the event was a bar crawl that started in the hotel bar at 8 o'clock. So as we were all apprehensive about the event, we decided the best thing for us to do was to drink and drink and drink alcohol. <laughs> And as we were trying to get tipsy before the event, we saw two girls sat down at the bar who looked the same as us, they looked like normal, so they put us at ease. So as the time came, we were getting hyped up, like, yes, we're gonna walk through the door, there'll be loads of drunk people there, but we just need to stay in the right frame of mind. In we go through the door. There was no one there. 
So we thought, well, we are bang on 8 o'clock, we're right on time, everyone else might just be late. Luckily, the two girls that we'd saw previously came and sat near us, so we knew that we weren't the only ones there. Finally, Cameron, one of the reps, came round to tell us that someone had been going round telling everyone not to go on the bar crawl and just don't show up to the event, which was weird. So basically, everyone was hiding in their rooms, saying that they didn't want to go. So we were then told to go and pre-session our own room, because the bar crawl is cancelled, come back down at half nine. Sorry Ross, can we just rewind? How much did this event cost? 65 for the full moon party and we'd basically paid to drink our own drinks in our own room. So it's now half past nine and we're in the bar and thankfully there's more people there this time. And we're all ready to go to the beach to have the party that makes it feel like you're in Thailand with face paint and fire sticks and lanterns and games and it wasn't even on the beach. We'd paid 65 euros to go to a bar next to the beach. Were there any lanterns? No. Was there any face paint? No. Was it a full moon? No. It was a crescent. One of the games we had to do while we were there was to buy a shot of Sambuca, hold it in your mouth for 10 seconds, then spit it back out, put it back in, swill it round like mouthwash, spit it back out, then swap it with the person next to you and drink their shot. <laughs> We then moved on to a club called Stairs, and while we were outside, we made friends! And it was the two girls who we'd seen from our balcony and who were sat next to us in the bar. Oh, I just love it when a story comes together. So we spent the rest of the night dancing with Emily and Grace, and it was an okay night when we got there, but the drinks were bloody six euros! So I only had one drink while I was there because I refused to get another one after security pulled me down from the stripper pole because I was a man. How sexist! It's their loss, they missed out on this. And this. And this. Overall, we paid 65 euros to do something we could have done ourselves. Half of the event was cancelled, and all that I've got to remember it is this wristband which I've cut off. Oh, and it made me sick the next morning. <laughs> so fast forward to Tuesday night. We're stood in the middle of a street. I'm bent over with tissue up my nose because I've got a nosebleed. And the owner of the restaurant that we've just eaten at rides past on a bike. Hello, table 17. Hiya. This was the night of the paint party. Now, we didn't book to go to the paint party with the reps, but we did go for 15 euros. What a steal! Whereas the people that'll have gone with the reps will have paid more than 50 euros to go to this event. Why? That's 35 euros difference. Robbed. For our final event, we did get to experience the bar crawl because it wasn't cancelled this time. And it was terrible. Some boys had to eat a cigarette, Amy nearly lost a phone, and everybody looked like this. So the freshers party, we danced to the music, and, well that was it, 45 euros to dance to music. Then we came to the white party, which was in status, and this didn't have much to live up to because it was just advertised as a white party, you wore something white and that's all we expected really. And it turned out to be the best event we went to, not because it was good, just because the others were terrible. The overall message is not to trust anyone abroad, not even the kids, they could have been on The Apprentice trying to sell glow sticks. Five euro, five euro. Four, three, one. Oh, but the worst of all was this woman that was lingering around a bar that we went to, trying to get this boy to buy a rose for the girl that he was stood next to, and he was going, no, I don't want to. So her response was, Oh, you gay? You gay? Oh la la, you gay? Then she turns to me and sees me sat next to Amy, so tries to get me to buy a rose for Amy. <gasps> you buy rose? You buy rose for her? For her? No, I'm gay too. Thank you for watching this video. If it made you laugh or smile at any point throughout, then give the video a thumbs up. And if you haven't seen me before, but you like what you saw, then click subscribe and come back next week for more.